What's up guys, I'm Matt Reisinger. And I'm Travis Brungart. And Travis and I are in West Virginia. We're at the Experience Center right before we take a factory tour of the Rockwell plant. But we thought we'd go through three little known benefits of Rockwell, really the big reasons why we've moved to Rockwell as our main installation for our houses. Today's build show is sponsored by Rockwell. Let's get going. All right, Travis, talk to me about fire benefit. You know, this is a display that we see a lot of trade shows and really draws you in. But what is it about fire and that benefit that appeals to you? Well, with a move to exterior continuous insulation, I love the idea of having my home and its occupants protected from wildfires. Uh, yeah. We don't have a, a, a significant wildfire risk in Kansas where I'm at, but certainly the wooey areas out west, uh, this is a huge benefit. And for me, when I think about Rockwell having some fire resistance, I think about it on the interior of the building. Now, your drywall is going to cover these studs most of the time, right? You don't normally have stud bays that are open. But where this might really benefit you is where you've got unfinished basements. You've got eye joists, and those eye joists by code need to be covered. And so if you can think about those joists sticking down in a basement, especially the OSB on an eye joist is really vulnerable to fire. And so covering that with Safe and Sound or another product like that from Rockwell is gonna provide that fire resistance, especially to those OSB band joists. All right, first up, I think one of the little known benefits of Rockwell is this display right here. What are we seeing, Travis? Here we're watching water vapor move through the material. A lot of builders and frankly, a lot of designers get hung up on the complexities of vapor movement. Mm -hmm. uh, vapor drive, where's my vapor barrier? Do I want a vapor retarder or a barrier? It, it can be very confusing if you, if you have those barriers in the wrong place, you have a lot of risk. Yeah. So what we believe in is a vapor open system. Uh, and what Rockwell allows us to do is to dry omnidirectionally. Both ways. Yep, in, out, doesn't care what season, you know, obviously, you know, warm and winter side on some installations is a big deal. We eliminate that risk by having the Rockwell product in the wall. It does not care where it's at. It doesn't care what season it is. It can always dry. I love it. Number two, for me, this is a big deal in Texas, is that this insulation will not house bugs. And in fact, bugs get destroyed as they go through it. There's some really cool white paper I'll link to below, which did a termite study and basically showed how termites will not nest in, nor will they move through rock wool, so much so that you've actually used below grade rock wool, right? We use a ton of it below grade. Uh, mice won't burrow into it. We actually had to store some exterior, which is not an approved way to store your rock wool. You should <laughs> not do that, but we didn't have indoor storage yet, so we were storing on site. Uh, they ate through the plastic at the exterior of the package to try and move in and stay warm. Uh -huh. And then they moved out because you don't eat rocks. They didn't like it. No. <laughs> That's awesome. And Travis, what's number three for us? Number three is the workability. The main thing that drew Joe and I to using Rockwell initially mm -hmm. was that we were self-performing. And we did that because we wanted to make sure we had a good install. And it's very important for a fibrous insulation to touch all, all sides of the cavity yeah. in order to get that install. What we were seeing from our subcontractors was a lot of times there'd be a paper stretched across the face of the suds and stapled up. Well, if the guys don't slice the bats, they don't tuck in behind the boxes, you don't have a good thermal control layer. You now have voids. You yep. have places for convective looping. You have all sorts of problems, but you can't see that. Yeah. So with this product, we were self-performing. We were getting a really quality install, and we can immediately ascertain if we subcontract that install just on an immediate visual inspection, any dark area, any void, any shadow line, incomplete install. You got to tuck it tight. You, it's so dense, you can't fold it around a wire mm -hmm. and not fill the cavity. Right. You got to slice that bat to go around your wires. You got to work around your pipes. So that's our main thing. And then you and I were talking earlier about actually working with it. It's not like uh, a light fiberglass material where it hangs in the air. Mm -hmm. The fibers are heavy. They drop out of the air quickly. So if you are cutting it, you don't really have that extended interval of unpleasant work conditions. Yeah, when you go to a house that has exposed rock wool, you don't have that feeling of there's stuff in the air, so much so that in fact in my attic, I have unfaced uh, bats, you know, I have no covering over them in my rafters. Let's go take a look at some of the displays they've got because I really like showing the assemblies. We'll meet Check you over all right, Travis, we've got some rock wool insulation here, two different types of rock wool insulation, as a matter of fact. Talk to me about this display. This actually reflects most accurately what we do in most of our assemblies now. 
Uh, everyone's moving to exterior insulation. Mm -hmm. Super important. Uh, code's going that way. This is the Comfort Board R12 product. So this yep. is three inches of uh, Comfort Board 80, actually, I believe. So this is uh, eight pounds per cubic foot. Uh, so it's a high density product. Mm -hmm. uh, and it allows for us to put a furring strip on top, screw through into the structure. We now have a rain screen benefit for, and you can do this on an open joint cladding as well, if you mm -hmm. like. Uh, but that allows for your exterior insulation to be continuous and it makes for a fast install. We actually get our framers to do it. Behind that, we have our water resistive barrier. Uh, and then in our cavities, we're typically doing a two by six frame. Uh, so we get the R23 comfort bat. Uh, so we still get acoustic and fire benefit out. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the pest resistance that we've talked about. Yep. And then we're also getting the higher R value by having it on both sides of our WRB and, and sheathing. And this really shows the vapor open benefit that we just talked about a minute ago with that steam generator steaming through that. If inside this house we had elevated moisture levels, let's say in the wintertime in Kansas City where it's 20 degrees out, there could be some drying to the outside in this assembly because there's nothing to stop that drying. We've got wood sheathing, wood studs, and we've got cavity rock wool insulation here. Yep. And then the comfort board on the outside can also have that steam, just like on the display, or in this case, vapor drive through that to dry to the outside. And the reverse is true in the summertime. We can drive through these products to the inside as well. So this is a really safe assembly. And that's one of the things I really like about rock wool is that you don't have this uh, vapor barrier or vapor retarder, it's a very safe assembly in your houses. Very low risk. With that being said, let's check out the commercial displays. Now, I know most of you guys watching this are residential builders like Travis and I, but it's really interesting to see how the commercial guys do it. So we've got steel studs, which are highly conductive, right? Uh, we make wiring out of uh, metals, and when we make steel uh, or studs out of metals, those are pretty conductive. Right. So we've got to have some really good exterior insulation. And this is a product I frankly didn't know about till recently. Uh, this is called Cavity Rock Black. And so this is an exterior rock wool insulation that has a black facer on it so that if you have an open joint rain screen, you would see black back there. Right. Talk about Talk to me about these though, Travis, what is that? So this is a, a fiberglass girt, and this is uh, basically doing the opposite of what you're concerned with here. Mm -hmm. Instead of being highly conductive and allowing the thermal energy to transfer through the system, this actually is reducing that thermal transfer while also being an easy way to mount your product on your exterior. Yeah. It's a and fast uh, support for both your exterior cladding and your insulation in one step. That's cool. And then they're tied back to the building also right. with a thermally broken fiberglass type clip. All right, next assembly. This is one we see in commercial uh, projects all over the place. If you look down the side here, you can see the clip that they're using on here, or the, uh, not the clip, the uh, brick tie rather. Mm -hmm. This is a two-piece tie. So there's a screw that goes into the stud, and then you put this wire tie in between your brick courses, and that's gonna hold that brick on the wall. But this is a great assembly too. It looks like a Prosico fluid applied on top of gypsum sheathing. And again, we've got some rock wool cavity insulation. But this cavity rock on the outside is really doing the bulk of the heavy lifting when it comes to actually insulating that building. It's like putting a big sweater or a big coat on in the wintertime. It's gonna really keep that building nice and warm. This and one's then, mine. Lastly, talk to me about this. We do this all the time. So for our interiors of our basements, we're a basement market in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. uh, we're always going up with comfort board on the interior of the wall. It's really fast to install because we can use a ram set or similar powder actuated. Yep. Uh, and basically attach comfort board in huge panels. Pop, 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 four, four by eight sheets all the way yep. across the wall. Uh, here they've installed an Intello smart vapor retarder across that. We do our vapor control at the exterior of our foundation walls, but the, the principles are the same. Yep. You wanna control that because it's vapor open product, I really am not worried about that. I don't yeah. have a risk either way. Right. But then we frame our interior basement wall and uh, do all our mechanicals, our wiring runs through there. And then we still go ahead and insulate through the cavity again, to get maximum thermal benefit. Uh, and then your drywall finish and, and baseboard is standard interior detail. With some really good displays. It's great. I like it. Now, in the past, when I've seen Rockwell displays at, uh, Rockwell insulation displays at trade shows, we've talked a lot about fire benefits. And yep. they have a fire one over here that shows how uh, that flame underneath that Rockwell doesn't melt it. But when you think of the fire ben of benefit of Rockwell insulation, what, what's the benefit to you? Well, for me, I'm a master electrician. We do a lot of our own wiring and most of the electrical code is driven by 
in FPA, mm -hmm. and they're worried about fire starting in boxes yep. and then spreading into the wall cavity. So even on an interior wall cavity where you would have a safe and sound insulation product mm -hmm. uh, for sound deadening, you also get that, that fire resistance benefit because I think the melting point of rock was like 2200 degrees. Yep. So that's on interior walls. At exterior walls, again, you've basically eliminated flame spread because there's not a volume of air moving through the product. Yep. You're not going to get any of that. And then, of course, the high melting point. So it's a fantastic solution for that as well. I mean, rocks don't burn. This insulation's made from rocks. It's right in the name. That's where that benefit comes from. The other thing that I don't think many people think of, Travis, is when you put that exterior uh, rock wool insulation on the Comfort Board 80, you've got this big, thick blanket of a more fire resistant material, which is going to keep your wood framing protected in wildfire areas. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's a huge wildfire uh, uh, benefit to rock wool insulation. They call that the WUI. I don't know how you pronounce it. Wooey. Wooey, the wild, wildfire, no, wildlands urban interface, I believe is what it stands for. And this is code and becoming more code in more and more places in America. But the other big benefit I don't think many people think of is eye joists. You know, when you've got an unfinished basement and you framed with eye joists on your first level, we need to cover those eye joists because in particular, the OSB um, webbing on those is particularly vulnerable to fire issues. And if you had a fire that started in the basement, the webbing would burn quicker than the solid top and bottom plates. So by using safe and sound in those areas, you can meet the code benefit or the code requirement, I should say, for fire resistance for those eye joists without having to go to the expense of running um, sheetrock in those places. Yeah, and that, that's an excellent point because typically when we have our, our unfinished spaces, typically where your mechanicals are in our basements, uh, where we're doing this comfort board, we no longer have to put up drywall as you would if you used a foam plastic insulation that would cause, uh, if, it, if it were to burn, uh, severe off-gassing and kill the occupants before they even had a chance to get out of the house. You can leave that exposed and we do that frequently. It's, yeah. uh, it's a real nice benefit. For and it's, sure. then you lose that echoey basement too. You know what, I need to go talk to some guys in the corner, but while I'm doing that, why don't you go show these guys the, uh, the sound tunnel here at the Experience? Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, sounds good, we'll see you over there. So Matt's awfully loud out here telling stories and joking around with the guys, but check this out. So decibel reading out here. Come on. So Matt's out there talking about ad revenue on a video, and we're in here not hearing a word of what he's got to say. Check how quiet it is in here. Less than half as loud. The Safe and Sound product allows that to happen just like all the cavity rock does. Any insulation that you put in your wall is gonna have some sound deadening effect, but this stuff is particularly useful and that's why sound engineers have favored it for years. The acoustic benefit of the Rockwell product is legendary. Travis, was I really pretty loud? <laughs> yeah, man, you're hitting 80, 90 decibels out here. <laughs> I tend to be a little bit loud, that is true. Super cool experience center here at the Rockwell factory. Stay tuned for our next video where Travis and I are gonna kind of walk you through the process. But before we leave, what are all these jars here on the way out? This is what's in this. So the way that Rockwell is made, the stone wool insulation that they manufacture involves primarily basalt, which is the most plentiful uh, resource on earth as I understand it. And these four jars are the individual elements that make up that basalt, ah. which is I think what is most of the Earth's crust. Okay. So they do use uh, that mineral, but then also in manufacturing here in, in Ransom, West Virginia, and I believe in all their plants, they use the cutoffs, you know, the edges of the manufacturing mm -hmm. process, mm -hmm. which we'll see. Uh, they reintroduce those into the manufacturing process, along with any dust from the manufacturing is captured, mm -hmm. and as it drops out of the air, they reintroduce that, uh, as well as the melt recycle. So the entire process reintegrates all of the materials, so it's extremely sustainable. And that's how you end up with this product up here. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, stay tuned for the next video. In the meantime, go follow Travis on his Catalyst Instagram feed, and you may or may not be seeing more of him on Build Show Network soon. So sign up to the link in our newsletter. We actually have 10 new videos a week over on buildshownetwork.com. Big thanks to Rockwell for bringing us out to West Virginia. Super cool plant tour. We're super excited to show you what's actually happening out here but I'd highly recommend you check out their insulation products for interior, for exterior, for below slab. Travis has uh, got some great videos yeah. coming up on some of those in the future, but Travis, I really appreciate you being on this one with me. It's a pleasure, brother, thank you much. Guys, link in the description for everything we talked about today. 
hit that subscribe button. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.